So it appears that you get so much kickback from this gun. Maybe a little bit too much. Unless that is your intent, I would say that's a little bit too much kickback. Holy shit. Hello, welcome back. It's been a while since I played this. I gave it a shot a few years back and let's move fast. There's a sudden drop there. Okay, wait. Why do I need to unlock this one? This, this is the one I came through. Yeah, now I can just jump from the ground. They have been continuing to update it since then. And one of the devs posted a comment on the video for it and said that they would love to see my commentary about it again. So, perfect. Dumpy. Now, immediate criticism. You don't have a dumpy scale on the male body. This is a problem. You should fix that. Holy shit, that is just like shadow dark. I am, I am become darkness. Right, I'm just gonna make everything that because uh, I want to blend in. I am a stealth. Stealth person. We're gonna be only be playing on the base one. We're gonna be doing tutorial because it seems that I have to go through it this way. Needed, awaken. All right. Voiceover dialogue didn't exist last time, so we're just dropped into what was very much an early access kind of environment. Retrieve weaponry out of the chests I've left behind. I've highlighted one in front of you, Green. All right. Uh, two things. Number one, moving doesn't feel super responsive. Like. Tap, tap, release, tap, release. Uh, uh, you, you slide pretty notably. Whether or not that's going to be a big problem is yet to be discovered, but that's my first note. Second note, uh, AI or rather text-to-speech voice. Yeah, not much of a fan of it. Uh, even if it just winds up being like an in-house voice of one of the staff members, I would say do some voices yourself. The text the text stuff is a good placeholder if you're really early on, but when you're trying to get closer to a better product, uh, you definitely want to upgrade that to actual voices. Even if they're like, you know, not professional, it still sounds more interesting. No more games that are known and beloved for their jank dialogue being bad rather than being loved for Texas speech stuff. <laughs> You're right. They're like a max range. Here's there's a max range. Events like taking damage gain kills will fool your alien with emotion. Gun changes your active emotion and drains this emotion every shot. That emotion your gun does half damage. All right, F is pick up, B to heal, dealt like 10 damage to me. Okay, I did not expect it to go that hard. All right, so emotion is a resource. All right, do I even have to fight them? Can I just wander over here? You know what? I don't feel like fighting them. I'm just gonna go all the way around, very wide. Ignore all the enemies. They don't seem to be paying attention to me. Ah, here I reach an invisible wall. Took a long while. So you can shoot without first holding right click to aim down sights, but it's just less predictable that way. Do I have to be close enough? Okay, yes. All right, so it seems like everyone... There's the sadness. I see the sadness. So you have different meters of different emotions. Use this to teleport to my old ship. I will find you. I will find you. Claire, I guess. Next. Next. Classic. All right, well, that was a very brief tutorial, to be fair. I just tried to cover some of the absolute basics. I wonder if we're still gonna have VO and such once we get into the base oh, classic mode. I see you've left a trail of shattered steel and scorched circuits in your way. It's impressive. It, it's awful. Awesome. Okay, yeah, you... You made it a different type of voice, but it still sounds jank as all hell and un unenjoyable. Yeah, the, the, the VO is really going to be a sticking point for me. I do not care for the Texas speech voiceover, I just realized. Uh, settings. May want to include some form of V-Sync option, because I am seeing the screen tear pretty badly on my end. Probably see it from whipping around in that screen, but that is disorienting. All right. Where, uh, where are we going? So, what? Oh, what the fuck? Well, I'm gonna be playing with that a little bit. All right, is there any collision up here? All right. 
Okay, we're just gonna fly out of the ship and back in and not know where the hell we're going. All right, so it's telling me to go to the Verdant Verinia. I do not know what I need to do in order for this to actually function. Like, do I have to shoot this? I think we did that joke already. All right, now will it let me try again? Now that I know what the fuck I'm doing, so... Bep, uh, bep, and... Is that the right one? There we go. All right, so you have to click them. Wasn't very obvious to me that these were intended to be buttons that I click for this pattern. Like, I thought, all right, what are we doing here? Is this lava? No, it looks like it's glowing as hell like lava, but apparently... All right. Am I supposed to be jumping across all of these? Because if so, this is immediately... A testament to the floaty sort of movement feeling bad. Because jumping across these sucks. Beat all enemies. Oh. Ah! All right, for something that launches me out of a ship, that one doesn't do very much damage. Yeah, for a one-shot item that launches me out of the ship, I feel like it should at least have pushback on enemies. Or at least, like, minor stun back on simple enemies and armor pierce or something on bigger enemies. Because I'm, I'm hurting myself more than the enemy with this. Wait, uh, can I... It was only showing me the med kit when I swapped back to my base pistol. So does that mean I can only use my med kit on base pistol? That is interesting. All right. This is... This is... This is frankly not fun. I need to work on tightening up the controls pretty notably. Is it easier to move around when I'm like this? Uh... Yeah, it shouldn't be easier for me to control my movement when I'm aiming down sights. I don't think, but it is because I move slower enough that some of it I can overcome. This is the only way I'm getting over this. Cool. Now it's easier now that the platforms are bigger, but the initial platforms were way too small. All right. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. That was I clicked that five seconds ago. OK. Well, the apparent massive amount of boost power I had on my ship seems to have gone the way of the dodo. What the hell is this doing over here? All right, I don't know where I can go other than killing myself off the side of the ship. There we go, find a way around. Uh, this gun is more dangerous to me than it is to any of my enemies, making me immediately never want to use it, unless I'm on the ship and I'm immune to damage, in which case I will launch myself into the moon once in a while and then it will quickly get old. Definitely need to buff up this gun. Like, I don't know if it's a matter of whether or not I'm sat, sad enough or not, but even at lower apathy, this thing seemed to do significantly more damage. I, it, I click to jump. All right, so <laughs> suffice to say, not having a good time with this first part. Controls need, like, sharpening, fixing, precision, responsiveness. All of it feels way too floaty. All of it feels way too off. And inputs seem to be getting dropped or lagging. Like, I don't know what I'm intended to do to get up to that platform other than use the grenade gun, which I tried and failed miserably, and now I'm close enough to death that if I shoot myself with it again, I will die, I'm pretty sure, because it was doing like 30 damage a shot, and that's exactly how much I have, so, um... 20 damage. Well, now it decided to work. Do I kill myself now? Yes, I do. Do I start with that dialogue on the ship again, or do I start on the planet? Okay, well, now it's given me a different one entirely. Now, can I launch myself with this? The answer is yes. What are these? All right, uh, do I get these little, like, bird things again? No, I get these slime things. Okay, this gun actually seems to be worth it. Seems like more of a risk-reward situation. Can they... They can't leave the platform. All right, I think he just tried to spit something at me, so they have something ranged, but they didn't react nearly quick enough for them to feel like a threat. Apathy buff. I'll get more rerolls, I guess. Could have rerolled that, but. These are meant to be little parkour challenges. They're more aggravating than interesting and engaging. Yep, way too floaty. I will go on about that until the ends of the earth, my guy. You need to work on 
the precision of the controls. I can only really do this when I'm ADSing the whole time, because otherwise I don't have enough control to really get up here. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, look into the light. No, Chris, no, run away from the light. Are these not going to go away at all? Interesting. Hey, look, a platform that I actually think I can reach, like the other level. So there's a disparity in some of the level design. Once again, let us get this stuff up top here because maybe it'll be worth it. I don't even know what these rocks do. I have no concept of whether or not they're like currency that I can use for upgrades at some point. This is the best gun for platforming because it slows me down the most to the point that I can actually control myself. Well, I picked up whatever those are. See, now these platforms I can actually hope to get jump across. They're set up in a position where I can actually hope to reach the bloody first one. Unless there was something that I was missing the first time around, but I didn't, I did look around a bit in that first attempt. Dead. Uh, anything else left alive here? This wasn't like a challenge. These guys just spawned without me even pressing a button or anything. What are these buttons for? They do not do anything when shot. My platforming rocket launcher. It's a phrase I never thought I would say and it has failed me. It has failed me. Too easy to get caught on stuff. It seems to me at least. Yeah, locomotion. Locomotion is my biggest complaint. Moving about doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel responsive. It feels like weightless in a bad way, in a non-spacey way, in an unintended way. Oh, double jump. That might help me a bit. All right, now where am I going? Where are the platforms I can actually hope to cross or get to? Let's go anywhere in particular. Like, I can get up on these. Cool. Maybe I should have just done that in the first place. I could have climbed up that and jumped on that, but I wasn't paying attention. All right, those platforms bring me over here. That platform brings me over there. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Should I... Am I expected to just drop down here? Give it a shot. Is this a spike trap that I die in if I touch it? Nope, this is just plant life. Oh, shit. That thing's big, and now it's dead. All right. Some of the enemies look... Uh, have some interesting variety of aesthetic. Is that intended to be like that, or is that just some clipping? I'm pretty sure that's not intended to be like that, and this one the same. Oh, hey, platforms. All right. Guess I'm on the right track or something. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, and I'm dead because of that. Okay. Oh, these are respawn points. All right, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense than what I thought they would be. Do, 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 do. With my sadness, I will destroy your family. All right. All right I got torches. It's looking like a lead up to like a boss arena or something. So at least that it's like is all right. I feel like a lot of other games, you should implement a hold R to put away weapon thing instead of just relying on clicking an empty pout mouse button. Or like a number button, sorry. Because when you get new weapons and you're in a panic, uh, swapping to an empty slot is not necessarily going to be super easy. 20 minutes later. I don't really have to think. This is a smart gun from like Titanfall. It automatically tracks. Okay, well, he was poisoned or some shit, so. There we go. You have more buffs up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so every kill now gives me 4% damage. All right, now every shield, every 10 shields give me eight damage. All right, uh, I am going to kill this last guy and then probably call it because if I wanted to go much longer, it would probably hurt my brain. The screen tear and some of the lighting is messing with my eyes a bit too much. Yeah, this is fine against these guys. And he's dead. All right. Double down on shield damage meta. And you win. Get auto shooting gun. Become angry. Kill. I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, movement doesn't feel good. Upgrades are not extremely varied. I would have expected some stuff, at least for like adding weird effects to guns. Especially considering it's like an alien life kind of thing. Like alien guns, alien weird guns. Give me some more stuff that makes weaponry act strange and may not necessarily be a direct upgrade, maybe like a side grade or a weird way it works that can be fun rather than necessarily like optimal. Um, but I I, I felt like I found 
nearly the same three unlocks. It felt like the same three unlocks. Basically, every single time I got one of those randomized pods, and there was nothing that really tempted me to stray from what I was trying to build by the end. If you're, if the locomotion is going to say even remotely like it is, focus less on platforming. Absolutely focus less on platforming. That part was painful. I played this a lot longer this time. I played through a full thing. Last time I played it, I didn't know where the hell this game was going. I didn't know what it was intending to do. It had like a town that you started in with other aliens of your same race. And I went somewhere and I got lost and didn't know what the hell I was doing. Now it seems to have pivoted to being a uh, roguelite shooter with like a set of bosses that you have to complete across different worlds. Not too much variety in enemies. They looked different, but they didn't particularly do anything. They didn't have any interesting mobility to them that made me rethink stuff. The bosses shot faster. At least the first one was a minigun. That was, that was weird. Well, not weird. It was annoying, especially considering once they go invincibility mode, uh, you, you just don't get any warning for it well enough to dodge. And I was playing on easy mode, so I'm assuming on hard mode, that would kill me multiple times over, assuming that the disparity in difficulties is notably eno notable enough. Aesthetics shouldn't cost that much. I don't know why white costs two and everything else costs one. And then I go back and some of the, what I was arguably the most impractical gun in the game costs more than most of the, well, like costs as much as ha just having a white color. And that feels a little bit weird. Dang, and I just, did not like my experience with this gun, other than the funniness of launching myself out of the ship. So there's that. Variety in these don't seem to do very much, like movement speed over health or health over movement speed or a little bit of lifesteal from the get-go. I feel like a point-based system initially starting with this might be a little bit more interesting. That you uh, invest so many points in each category, you have to have a minimum in like health and speed, but that could open up a lot more ideas for different build varieties, especially if you pair it with adding more interesting abilities to the game. Otherwise, I'm going to sort of leave it off there because I feel like I'm repeating myself multiple times, but thank you very much for watching. This has been Alien Life Simulator again. Hope you have a good one. Some other videos as well. Bye bye! <laughs>